Good everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today, pretty much I'm going to give you guys and I guess I guess go over everything that um I've, I'm using with the HP 8300. I know it's been pretty much the most confident thing everybody's been asking what I'm using. So I keep most of my boxes here in my closet. So I'm going to kind of go over most of the stuff that I am using with the setup. Um, I'm doing an update on the setup as well. So I have a new uh, like a little computer tray thing. I'm going to go over that in another video. But anyways, so this is an HP A300 Elite. Um, this guy, I think, have 16 gigs. And I'm running a... T 1050 Ti uh, graphics card. So pretty much everybody been asking what I'm running. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm running. So this is uh, the graphics card by Gigabyte. I believe it's the two gig. It even come with a little fan. Um, I actually had to clean that up a little bit. But that's pretty much it. Um, I got this off of Amazon, and already it has 16 gigs of RAM. Um, as you can see here. And uh, uh, I think it's one terabyte of hard drive um, memory, and it's not it's a it's not a SSD, so the regular hard drive, whatever. Um, with the setup, I'm using a Elgato Game Capture HD 60s. So this is how I record my PS4 gameplay. The box is all dang, it's all dusty because I haven't been in this closet in forever, but um. Yeah, I'm using that pretty much. Here's my graphics. Oh, so it's a 4 gig. I said 2 gig. It's a 4 gig. So it's a gigabyte GeForce GTX 1050 Ti. 4 gig. So anybody that's trying to do this build, you have to make sure you get the low profile version. Because the low profile version is a smaller guy. This is a smaller, I guess, form factor, whatever, case, whatever you, you can call it. And I made a mistake and got a 1050 Ti, like the regular one, and it was like this big. Like it was huge. So make sure you get the low profile one. Um, you probably can't find it in stores because I tried and I had to order online. Low profile. Don't forget that if you're going for this this budget build. But yeah, that's the graphics card. Um, as far as my uh, keyboard, I'm running. I'm going to have to pull this, fix this stuff back. My keyboard, I'm using the... the I can't pronounce this, this brand. Is it Corsier? Corsier? Whatever. I don't know. Um, the Strafe um, RGB Mark II MX Silent. Love this keyboard, really cool. I kind of have a little video on that as well too. So I'm not gonna get into details with everything I'm using. Just show you guys what I'm using. Um, my mouse, I have a Corsair, whatever, Glaive or Clave or Glaive or whatever it is, RGB. Love this mouse. Um, also for my webcam, I'm using a Logitech uh, C920. In the damn box. Logitech C920. Um, HD Pro webcam. So it shoots full uh, HD 1080p. Um, same thing with Skype as well. 15 megapixels with the photo quality. Um, you know, it's like glass lens, full HD, 20 step autofocus, built in um, a microphone and stereo as well, too, which is really cool. Um, for my wheel, I'm using a Thrustmaster T150. It comes with the wheel and the pedals. Uh, if you watch my American Truck Simulator or my um, uh, Project Cars or Gran Turismo or everything, this works for PC and PS4 and PS3. So that's pretty much what I'm using for that. Um, for my headphones, so these are Michelle's. Michelle's using these Uplay Limited Edition. Um, don't really know what they're called, but she's using those. I use the Turtle Beach Recon 60Ps. Let me grab this box here so you can see. I'm about to clean all this stuff up when I'm done. But yeah, so this is perfect for PS4, PS3, works for PC as well. USB, plug straight in. Um, actually, no. It comes with a USB adapter or you can plug it straight in as well. It's all up to you. Really cool. Come with a built-in microphone as well, but I don't use it because I use a Blue Yeti. This is a Blue Yeti microphone, Blue Edition. Love this microphone. Really cool. Pretty much just like different um, drops and everything. So pretty much you can use the Blue Yeti for everything. So, for example, you can use it for podcasting or for music. If you sing, if you do voiceovers like me, whatever, commentary, you know, for a good price. You know, it's a good quality as well. And mine's a pop filter on there. And that's, and, and for the PS4, 
I use a PlayStation camera. So because since I have the PC, I go from PC to PS4. Um, with the PlayStation camera, you just plug into your PS4. You never need a microphone for your PS4. The camera will pick up your voice from wherever you are. All you need is headphones to either listen to everybody else, but everybody can hear you. You don't have to, have to worry about it pretty much. So for my plug outlet, I'm using this Rocket Fish Connect and Protect Kit 4K Ultra HD. Blah 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 blah. It comes with a. It came with an HDMI cable, which is cool, but it's a seven outlet surge protector with two USB ports. HDMI premium. So this is really cool. And for the mouse pad, um, this is just one. I have two. So this is the smaller one. It's the Hyper Fury S. It's a gaming mouse pad. Really cool. I mean, it's, it's big too because the size I got. Uh, where they put the size on this guy? So when I was looking for one of these, they came in different sizes. I don't even know. Okay, so it can show you the 450, 900, 360, or 290. You know, you pick which one you like. But it was pretty much what I'm running. So right now the setup looks crazy because I'm redesigning everything. Um, I just installed a a stand for the two PCs, two monitors I'm I'm running. I don't have the box for these, but these are AOS. VGQ something I don't remember. Um, I'll put it in the link. I'm gonna put the whole everything in the link that I'm using, and I have the MacBook as well. Compressed air, you have to have this because this, especially when you're cleaning up. This is the hyper X we're just looking at. This is one of the mats, and I have this big long one. I was just trying to clean it up. It's all dusty and stuff. Even come with a little cell phone holder, which is really cool. Um, that's the the keyboard, the mouse, the Turtle Beaches, PS4 is their setup over here. Um, so pretty much the reason why I do the whole room crazy is because I have this new mobile computer stand and this is for the stand up there as well. So the next video you're going to see me put everything together and I'm going to go over those guys. So back to the 8300, um, uh, I'm using the, the original power supply, original motherboard. Like literally all I did was slap in the graphics card and that's pretty much it. Um, with this motherboard though, um... This can probably last you a while. Um, I've did some reviews and stuff before I bought this and went with this setup. A lot of people say that it probably won't last you for a long time, but I mean, so far I've had it almost a year now and it's running perfect. When you slap in the Gigabyte graphics card, you get two HDMI slots, a DP slot, and a DVI slot. And pretty much, you guys seen that I have dual monitors, so I use, um, one DVI slot and one HDMI slot. The DVI actually looks really, really clear, which is really cool. But um, I, I use that for both monitors. And um, it's been doing well so far. You know, I can't really complain. Um, I highly recommend this if you're looking for a a budget uh, PC, I guess, build. Like, if you literally want to... Make sure I'm putting this on the right way. I actually forgot how this thing goes in. So if you're looking for, like, a, you know, entry-level PC... Uh, gaming unit and you're like on a strict budget because you can pick one of these up you can pick up an 8100 for cheap like under a hundred dollars probably or a 200 for like a hundred dollars and one of these probably close to two hundred dollars for 8300 um i went with the, the the i went with the package that already come with the 16 gigs because more rams the better and um it come with the 16 gigs and the one terabyte hard drive but really cool it works you know cannot go wrong with this guy I highly recommend it. Um, eventually, though, I'm going to go to a more, more, I guess, more powerful build. Some of this is going to cost a little bit more eventually. But this is the perfect way to jump into PC if you want to play 5M, you want to play Grand Theft Auto, you want to play Fortnite, you want to play Players Unknown. Um, I play all the, the videos on my channel. I played on this guy here. So the American Truck Simulator, Project Cars, um, Wreckfest, all of those games. Play straight off this guy here, and it runs it perfectly. Good frames. You can play any game in medium, pretty much. You can even play some game in um, ultra or even um, whatever is high end medium, <laughs> whatever it is. But um, yeah, that's pretty much the the setup. If any more questions, concerns, I'm gonna link every single thing here in the description below. And any more questions, just leave a comment. Let me know. Thank you guys for watching.